Hey guys, it's Anna and welcome back to our channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to digitize your art. Now my sister and I own a small creative business and most of our products are digital. So when you have digital products, you need digital art. So today I'm going to show you how I use Affinity Photo to do that. But before we hop into today's video, I want to invite you to subscribe and like our channel for more creative content and to join our community. So without further ado, let's begin. So today I painted a leopard. I love this pattern in the watercolors and I can't wait to see how it turns out in the program. So now I'm going to take a picture of the artwork, make sure it's in clean lighting and clear focus. And now I'm going to go into my photo file and bring it into Affinity Photo. And I'm just going to size it down so it fits our file size. And I'm just going to center it. And now I'm going to go through with my selective brush tool and I'm going to up the pixels and just cover the whole area of the leopard. And if you have a more detailed piece, you could always go through with a smaller pixel size. And now I'm going to go through to view and I'm going to zoom in just to make sure I didn't miss anything. For the most part, this is a pretty easy piece to do because it's just like one chunk where sometimes with like florals, it's more detailed. So you really have to get in those lines because you want to cover everything. And now I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to add a mask layer. And I'm going to go through to white balance and I just like to even it out so it's not as yellow. And now I'm going to go through to brightness and contrast and I really like to rep that up. And now I'm going to go down to vibrance and I'm just going to add some more saturation. And finally curves and I'm going to go through and add those and for some reason on the screen recording it's not showing the tabs of me actually doing it but they have like nice number scales you go through to your exact preference and this is just how I do our photos but you can do yours however you see fit now I'm going to select all of the slides there and I'm going to save it and again my screen recording isn't showing it but I'm saving it in my photos as a PNG so I can use it later and I'm doing this section only so it will have no background. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial on how to digitize your art. I hope it helps for all of your projects and I will see you next time. Bye bye.